Welcome everyone to Magic with Class. I am Jeremy Class, and today I finally got my packages of Commander Legends, as you will be able to see right now. So I have one, two, three, four draft boosters, and I also have two collector boxes. So, without any further ado, I am going to be opening the first one up for your viewing pleasure. And every day this week, I am going to be submitting a video where I open up another one of these fantastic boxes. Obviously, I think by now you know what we are looking for. We're looking for Vampiric Tutor, Jeweled Lotus, Scroll Wrap, and probably the most expensive one, Mana Drain. So, a fresh pack. I think there are 24 boosters in this Commander Legends box. There we go. Command the Draft. Pack one, and I'll talk a little bit about the cards as I reveal them. And it's been kind of a while since I opened some packs. These feel a little different than normal. So let me just get rid of that right here. I'll go through the commons. But I think everyone really wants to see the rares or mythics and the foil. Sky Diamond, that's not bad. Command Tower. Now we're getting to the uncommons. Kanji's Lieutenant. Golem Artisan. Alright, first rare is Root Weaver Druid. Right there. And the two legendary creatures are Rebecca and the Splicer. And I actually got a foil rare, Immaculate Magistrate. It is foil. I don't think you can tell particularly well, but it is a foil. And out of all the rare foils that I could have gotten, I honestly think Immaculate Magistrate is probably the worst. So let me set up some piles for you and move this camera a little bit so that you can see better. I actually think that will work out. So I'm going to put foils here. I'm going to put the rares right here. Uh, any legendary creatures, mostly legendary uncommons, I suppose, will go here. And I'm just going to put everything else in one pile, just for the sake of space, I suppose. And the, the token was a, a treasure token. So, next pack, this is pack 2. And I'll go quickly through the commons. Flood of Recollection, that's not bad. Fire Diamond, not a bad card. A lot of commons, I forget that these packs have 20 cards. Okay, so we got the commons. These are the young commons. Orzelf Advocist. The Vow of Wilderness, part of that Vow of Cycle. Patron of the Valiant. And the rare is Jessica's Will, which I'm going to put right here. And our two legendary creatures are the Multi Celebrant of Bounty. And Arden, Intrepid Archaeologist. Oh, I'm sorry. And the foil is Pilgrim's Eye with a 
copy token. Give me. Let me plug this in to make sure that it does not die and that does not happen again. Now I'm going into our third pack. And I'm opening these packs just for me. This is just something that I actually wanted to do. I've been looking forward to this set for quite a while, as many people have been. I've finally received my boxes a tiny bit after the release. So I'm just going to go through the commons quickly. I got an Opal Palace, which is not the worst common. I got a Command Tower in one of the packs as well. Okay, so here are the uncommons. Let me set them like this so that you can see. It's Humble Defector, Reclamation Sage, which is a decent card. Hero's Blade, pretty good in equipment-based decks. And the rare is Rejuvenating Springs, which is actually a pretty good rare to get. It's part of the cycle that they originally started in Battle Bond. They completed it in Commander Legends, and this is the blue-green one, which is probably the best in the cycle. Simic colors have been very hot recently. The two legendaries are Glacian, Power Stone Engineer, and Kanji Skywarden. And I actually like Kanji Skywarden. I'm thinking of building a deck, a flying deck, maybe with this as the commander or... At the very least, I think this will make it into the 99. And there actually was already a version of Kanji printed. I think it was mono white though. And it supported the bird type rather than flyers in general. The foil is Crimson Fleet Commodore. And I must say this foil looks very light. Kind of looks washed out. I don't know if you can see it as clearly on video. And I got a Prismatic Piper as well, first Prismatic Piper of the box. I'm sure it will not be the last. So that was an extra legendary creature there. So, next pack. I've not gotten any Mythics yet, I noticed. But I'm sure there will be quite a few in here, hopefully. So I'm going to quickly go through the commons. I got a Marble Diamond. And... That cycle is actually pretty good. More commons. Farhaven Elf is not bad. I got a Terramorphic Expanse. Okay. Uncommons. Vow of Duty. So another one in the Vow cycle. Ingenuity Engine. This is a new Cascade artifact. Sifter Worm. This is a reprint. And another one of these lands. Training Center. This one's blue-red. And the legendary creatures in the pack are Alana, Kessig Trapper, and Slurk, all ingesting. That's actually a very cool name. The foil is a Seer's Lantern, and then an Elf Warrior token. Let's keep going. These packs feel a little thicker because they have 20 cards in them. Okay, I'm going to go through the commons really quickly. Fender Horn Elves. That was an interesting common to put in the set. Mousham Colossus. A common Cascade card for 8. Commander Spear. Classic. Alright, there we go. Put the commons to the side. Now we got the uncommons. Fathom Fleet Sword Jack. Scaled Behemoth. Confiscate, and the rare is Wheel of Misfortune. Not a terrible rare, actually pretty decent as far as rares go. And the two legendaries are Dargo the Shipwrecker, which I'm very interested in making a deck using. And I got a Siani Eye of the Storm. And again, in a flying deck, I may... Use Kanji, the blue-white one, as a commander. Or maybe I will partner the Eye of the Storm with someone. Another very faded foil. 
Very odd looking Siren Storm Tamer. I wonder what people are thinking about some of these foils. They are very strange. And I got a treasure token. So Gary's on the side. I'll just I'm gonna pull it. Alright guys, sorry about that. Welcome back. So next pack. Looking through the commons. Nothing too fancy there. Alright, let's see. These are the uncommons. I got Interpret the Signs. Intangible Virtue. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, my bad. Okay, so we have Fear of Succession. I think this is one of the first non permanents to give you the Monarch, and the rare is Plague Reaver. An interesting card and sacrifice decks and the two legendaries are Falthus, part of the familiar cycle. This is the black aligned member and we have Belby. A lot of people have been wanting to build decks around this character. Um, oh and actually this is a rare I didn't realize. So yeah sometimes there will be double rares in the pack depending on what legendaries you get so I'll put that in the rare column. And then the foil is another very dull looking foil in Gale Strike. These foils look pretty strange. I don't think they are misprints, however. I just think that that's just how the printing process was. So let's keep going. No, still no mythic. Going through the co commons. Fertilid, that's not awful. Charcoal Diamond, another one in the Diamond Cycle. Oh, Viseraseer, that's actually a useful common. Soul's Fire, not terrible. Alright, okay. Here we go, Uncommons. Explosion of Riches, that's a new card. Merchant Raiders, that's a Pirate. Sandstorm Arc, Oracle. Oh, and here we go, First Staff of Domination. And our two legendaries are Kellen, Stun Main Familiar. So the white aligned familiar in the cycle. It's a horse, the first legendary horse, I believe. And Ray of Master Smith, which is, I would probably not play this card as the actual commander, but in a red, white, or Boros equipment deck. I think he has a place in the 99. And it seems like the blue cards are the ones that have, like, the foiling issues. Because all the blue foils that I'm getting are pretty dull. That's Sailor of Means, so not a, not a big hit, not a foil hit. Okay, next pack. Going through the commons, Moss Diamond. I think I have three out of the five in that cycle now. Path of Ancestry, not terrible. Okay, here we go. These are the uncommons. Vow of Flight, another one in the Vow cycle. Return to Dust, used to be heavily played in Commander. No, not so much. Quambaj Witches. And the rare is. Athen Mutineer. Not a great rare. It can function as a form of mass removal, though, in blue, which is something. And it's targeted removal. When you just cast them regularly, on core cost can let you exile a creature for every player that you, every opponent, I should say, that you have. Abomination of Lorna is. One of the uncommons, and this is a double rare pack with Nimrus, Wanish, Trickster as the other legendary creature. That's a rare. And the 
foil is Seraph of Dawn, an angel. Looks a little lighter too, actually. But maybe... Maybe you be the judge. Maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe that's just how these foils look. It seems like they changed the foiling process. I will say that. It seems like the foils don't curl as much as they once did. So, okay. Commons, commons. I see there's a Kipkin in this set. Just one, though, I believe. Our Millery Spare... Armillary Spear, sorry, that's always a decent card. Daring Saboteur, wasn't that a rare in, in one of these sets? It's an uncommon in this one. Put in the uncommon pile. Fate's Feathers, that's a reprint. Cast Down, I believe this is from Dominaria. And our first mythic is Profane Transfusion. So I'll just put it in the rare pile for now. Profane Transfusion is not the best mythic. I think right now it's under $2. It is one of the cycle of 9 mana cards in this set. There are 6 9 mana cards. 5, I believe, are sorceries. And then there's a 6 one, which is an artifact creature. So then we have the two legendaries. This is Essior, Wardwing Familiar. Which is a legendary bird, but it's an owl in the art. But all birds are, all types of birds are creature type bird. Owls, anything, any other bird. Falcons. At one point, falcons were their own creature type, but now any type of bird is now creature type bird. So that's another one in the familiar cycle. That's the blue one. We also have Gore, Muldrek, and Phenologist as a second rare. So that was a pack with one mythic and one rare oh and we have yet a third rare because we have a foil rare in court of grace that one that foil looks normal and i think and we have another prismatic piper he's legendary so i'll just throw him in the legendary pile and we have a monarch token overall this has been a meh box so far. Nothing really of value. Only one mythic, so that's unusual. Hopefully we'll hit something. Alright, going through these commons. Fire Diamond. I feel like I'm going to have a ton of those diamonds at the end of this. Alright, where do the uncommons start? Right here. Vow of Torment, which is another one of that vow cycle. They're not new, though. They were in one of the Commander pre-constructed decks. Dreamstone Hedron. Armorcraft Judge. I remember this from, um, what block was this? Armorcraft Judge? It's Kaladesh block. Oh, and we hit another Mythic. We have Triumphant Reckoning. Another Mythic that just isn't great. And another part, one of the 9 mana cycle. This one's like $2 right now. And we have our legendary creatures, Prava of the Steel Legion. Great in a token deck. And it has partner as well. And we have Armix Filigree Thrasher. And this card is flavored from Mirrodin. And then we have Eye Blight Massacre as the foil. Again, this foil looks a little light. But I think that's kind of common in this set. I don't think these are misprints or anything. I think just that's just how they look. So now we have two mythics. I also opened two of the lands, the rare lands in this set. Okay. I think it is pretty interesting that each of these has a foil. That's pretty cool. Rupture Spire, Codex Shredder, Okay, that's the first uncommon. I'm just going to put the commons off on the side. So here are the co uh, uncommons. Kodak Shredder. Arcane Signet. This is the first Arcane Signet of the box. Ordeal of Nalia. Okay, and we got a Mythic. Port Razor. That's not awful. Better than the bulk Mythics we have opened so far. And this is a double rare pack. Because the next card, the legendary creature, is Liesa, Shroud of Dusk. This was the fourth Avacyn 
sister, new to Commander Legends. Oh, and this is actually a triple rare, well, two rares and a mythic. This, so this pack was pretty good in Arkelos, Lagoon Mystic. A lot of people very anxious to build like a stacks type deck using that card. And the foil is a Frexian Rager, common foil, not nothing too special about that. Let me just... Well, they do have more. Do have more packs than the collector box. The collector box, you open them and it's like, am I done already? Okay, Sky Diamond in this one, Command Tower. So the commons are decent. All right, here are the uncommons. We have Pen and Blade. Oh, okay, we have our first three visits. Before it was reprinted, three visits was in one of the portal sets, and it was quite expensive, so that's a much-needed reprint. Then we have Patron of the Valiant, and we have a third one of the rare lands. This one is Undergrowth Stadium, which is pretty good. And we also have, oh, so this was a triple rare pack, Sengir the Dark Baron. Elegeth, Crossroads Augur, so two rares, plus the Battle Bond inspired. Oh, and this is our first um, etched, foil etched card. Rayav, Master Smith, we got an etched version of him. I just want you to see. It's, these actually, let me see what I think about this. The, they're really nice, actually. This is the first time I've seen one of these foil etched cards in person, and I must say that it's... I do like the effect that these foils give off. Very interesting. I'll put that, I'll put that with the rares, because it is actually pretty rare to open a foil fetch, um, a foil etched card in these boxes. It's only an uncommon, though. Not a rare mythic, but you know. Let's keep going. Ooh, this one's a little damaged. That's just a common though. All right, going through the commons. Finderhorn elves again. I'm seeing a lot of the same ca commons. Commander spirit. All right, this is where the uncommons begin. We have vow of lightning. So another one of the. Val Cycle, Thirst for Knowledge, Hunter's Insight, and the rare is Flamekin Herald. Not bad, Commander spells you cast have Cascade, so pretty interesting. And then the two are Numa Draga Chieftain, and Hans Erickson, which is like a meme card at this point. And then we have a Finderhorn Elves foil. Very light foiling. Strange. Let me let me fix these a little. And I'm pretty sure the order is just all messed up. So I will be going through the order at the end and fixing things. Putting all the rares in one pile. Putting all the uncommon legendaries in one pile. Putting all the foils in another pile. What are these? These are all just, these are tokens. Did I miss, did I miss something here? These are not just all tokens. These are tokens though. Let me put these to the side. Common, 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 common. Eh, these are just commons. Let me keep going. Still got quite a number of packs to open. I'm hoping I open Something really good, something super spicy. So far, I've gotten three mythics, which is about kind of standard, but I'm hoping for another mythic rare. Obviously, you know the ones that everyone's going for. Okay, Opal Palace was the last common, so now we have the uncommons Furnace Celebration, Warden of Evil's Isle. Nadir's Nightblade, oh, and our first Port of Bounty, which is probably the, one of the more expensive rares in the set. 
and probably the most expensive of the court of cycle. And we also have a Malcolm, keen eyed navigator. A couple people want to build a pirate commander deck using Malcolm and Breaches. Oh, okay. And this is a double rare pack because we also have Queen, Intinerant, Intinerant Meddler. Very interesting. So now we have the Tortoise and the Hare because I opened the Turtle card earlier and here is the hair that always bothers him and then we have a soul fire as the foil let me straighten up these foils a little bit better put the token on the side how many packs are left a couple packs remaining in the box let me see And I'm just throwing all the wrappers on the floor. So I gotta clean up after this video. Alright, common, 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 commons. So it says ring, underpower these days. Alright, here are the uncommons. Meteoric Mace. Skilled Animator. You know what? Let me just put the uncommons. I think I have space. I'm going to put the uncommons here. Let me make my piles a little better. Can you see that? No. But if I do this... Uh, yeah, alright. That's a little bit better. Volcanic Turret. And the rare is War Room. Not awful. I forgot that there was another rare land besides the cycle. And we have our Rumi of the Dead Tide as the first legendary creature. And ooh, this is a card I was hoping to open. Sakashima of a Thousand Faces. So this myth is, mythic is actually fairly expensive. It's still about $15. Could have been, could be lower by the time you guys see this video. But when last I checked, it was about 15 and the foil was a sandstone oracle, so nothing special in that slot. So, we've only opened so far one foil etched. We've opened four mythics. We've opened two of the sorcery nine mana cycle. We opened one port razor, which is a decent mythic. And then we opened the Sakashima of a Thousand Faces. Probably the best mythic that we've opened so far. Going through the commons quickly. Path of Ancestry. Alright, here we go. Here are the uncommons. Fencing Ace. Eh. Meteor Golem. Revenant. I think this is new art. It's actually a cool card. Hans Erickson does not get along with a lot of monsters. And Revenant is one of the cards he does not get along with. Alright, and the rare is... Laboratory Drudge. What does this do? At the beginning of each end step, draw a card. If you've cast a spell from a graveyard, activate an ability of a card in a graveyard this turn. Eh, meh. For four mana, that's not awful, but it's not great either. Obviously, this is an Innistrad-inspired Stitcher zombie. What were they called? Scabs, I believe. And we have Miera. The one of the Gale as one of the Uncommon Legendaries, and we also open Jury, Master of the Review, another Uncommon Legendary. That one is a Ravnica-inspired legend. An Ancestral Blade as the foil. There we go. Let's keep right on going. I think this is going to be the pack. I think this is going to be the pack that we've been waiting for. Something really... Good, hopefully, in this pack. Two, three. Commons, 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 commons. Okay, is that the end of the commons? Yep, okay. A common pile. You can't see it. It's off to the side. It's getting pretty, pretty unwieldy. Angelic Armaments. Angelic Armaments is one of the uncommons. Sunset Pyramid. Strength of the pack. And our rare is Slash the Rank. So, eh. 
meh. And we have Nadia, Agent of Dust Canal. We have the least Reverend Medium. And our foil is a Molder Beast. So this was not a particularly good pack, even though I am looking forward to making a token, a black white token deck using the Reverend Medium right over here. And we do have another Prismatic Piper. They're not as common as I thought people were saying. People were saying that they're getting Prismatic Pipers in almost every pack, and I think we didn't we didn't get more Prismatic Pipers than I think we would get a typical common. Let me see. Right. How many of these diamond cards that I open in these packs? Alright, Terramorphic Expanse, that was the last common. So here are the Oh, and I'm look at that, I put the foil in the wrong pile. Open the armory, uncommon. Demonic lore, uncommon. Monstrous onslaught and horizon stone. When I first saw Horizon Stone, I thought it cost two mana. And I was disappointed to find out that it cost five because at that cost, I just don't think it was it's too good. The uncommons are Anawa, so this is the green familiar in that cycle. And Radiant Sarah Archangel, one of the worst uncommon legendaries in the set. And it's a shame because white needed some real fire in this set. And it got some okay things. But not as much as I thought it was, considering they specifically said that there was going to be powerful white cards in the set. And now our foil is Azor Fleet Admiral. So I'm just going to put that, slip that in right there. How many packs are left? I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe we might get one more Mythic. We already got more than the average number of Mythics, I think, per box. We got Sakashima and Port Razor, and then two in that cycle, so that's four. Usually you're going to get between three and four, I believe. We got one etched foil, two, so that was also a hit. Even though the etched foils online are getting destroyed at the moment. Alright, so Thought Vessel. That is a pretty good uncommon. First Thought Vessel of the box. We have Keeper of the Accord, not a bad rare, actually. Now, this is a white card that is pretty powerful. And our legendaries are Tormod, the Desecrator. Tormod Script is a card you might know. And this works fairly well with that card. And our second is Jelanra, Color of Wirewood. I don't think it's particularly great as far as Commander's go. I think elves have better commanders in green or black than that guy, but if you pair it with the Whisper card, then maybe. All right. A few more packs, and then I will post this video, and tomorrow I'll open another box and we'll try it again. And I don't think I made any profit off of these. Ooh, this pack is like hard. this pack is hard to open. What's wrong with this pack? Huh. This pack looks kind of funny if I'm being an, if I'm being honest. But I'm sure this pack was sealed. Right? Or am I? Sorry about that. Oh, okay. Huh. That pack opened kind of, kind of funny. In all honesty, let me see this for a second. All right, no, I'm sure it's sure it's fine. Let's keep going. Commons, rupture, all right, here are the uncommons, first response, I messed up my piles again, foils going here, first response, volcanic dragon, 
Frenzied Saddle Brute, pretty good card actually. And Sazat's Zat's Will as the rare. And the two uncommon legendaries are Helena, Cassidy Ranger. Toggle, Goblin Weaponsmith, that's not bad either. Pretty good card. And the foil is another legendary creature, Siani, Eye of the Storm. He got another one that's um, non-foil. Let me just, yeah, okay. Let's keep going. We're coming down to the final couple packs. Oh, Preordain. Three packs after this. Preordain is the first common. I think that was the first Preordain we actually opened. Kind of unusual. Another Viscera Seal. Seer, I saw that earlier. Alright, and now we have the uncommon, starting with Mindless Automaton. Okay, let me just straighten out. Burning Anger, wasn't this a rare at one point? Slaughter the Strong, I know that was downshifted in this set, that was a rare. And we got the Sweet Glum Recluse as our rare. And the two uncommons are Kesket, the Flesh Sculptor, and Ghost of Ramirez de Pietro, with the Dragon Mantle as our foil, and another Prismatic Piper. Get these tokens out of the way. One, two, three packs remaining. Alright, I'll shuffle them off. Alright, I'll open this one first. Let's see what you got. Let's see what's in these. So, no Vampire Scooter. No Jeweled Lotus. No mana drain, but, you know, what are the odds of opening one of those in all of the cards in the set? I'm sure it's not particularly high. Alright, so what are our uncommons? Our Millery Spear was the last common. And we have Scholar of the Ages as an uncommon. Guildless Commons as an uncommon. Kind of strange. Victimize, I think this is the first with Victimize we pulled. And the rare is Soul of Eternity with a Kedis Eberclaw Familiar as one of our legendaries. And we also got Yurlock of the Scorch Thrash. A lot of people want to make a commander deck centered around Yurlock of the Scorch Thrash. He effectively brings back Mana Burn, which had been removed in one of the rule updates many years ago. And we have a foil, Sisei's Ring, eh, not the worst foil, right there. Down to two. I was hoping for one more Mythic, but I guess we open all the Mythics we were going to get. Dragon Mantle. Commons, 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 commons. Alright, so here are the uncommons. We got Supreme Well. Imperious Perfect. Pretty cool uncommon. Pride of the Perfect. Oh, and one last mythic before we close the video. We got Apex Devastator. One of the better mythics. Still about $8, $9, $10. And ooh, this is an uncommon Rebecca, Architect of Ascension. And we got, this was a double mythic pack. This was a really good pack. Jessica, Thrice Reborn. So we got both a Jessica and an Apex Devastator within the same pack. The foil is just a common Wild Heart Invoker. And, well, we did get two more mythics, so can't really complain about that. Last pack of this empty box. You see it? Mm, there's nothing in here. Alright, let's see. We got how many of the lands, too? 
I think we got at least three. And I think we got three. We got the blue green one, the blue red one, and then we got the green black one. So we got three out of the five in this set. That's not bad. All right, here's another pure Dean as a common, 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 common. Common. All right, here we go. These are the uncommons. Siren Storm Tamer. I got this in foil. Shimmer Mer. Down shifted to uncommon. I believe it was a rare at one point. Noxus Dragon from Khan's Block. And, ooh, this is quite a decent rare. Hole Breacher to end off on. And our two legendaries are Toya, Bear Claw. And this was a double rare pack because I got a Croc the Thumbless. He was actually not a character in the Maraudin books, but he was mentioned a few times. And the foil is a very light flesh bag Marauder. So thanks for joining, guys. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. And every day this week, for the rest of the week, I will be posting a video opening a box of Commander Legends. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to do the one of the two collector boxes I have. So this is Magic with Class. I'm Jeremy Class. And I'm always reminding you to gather with class. Thanks, everyone.